All aboard the boom train. How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to My Little Factory and Teardown. Today we're going to be doing some more of the campaign, but can I just say I love this. So if you remember in the last episode, we got our new fancy bed. Well, we didn't plan ahead because it's not going to fit through the doorway. Do I even have a bed in here anymore? No, I don't. I even sold my other one. Anyways, we're going to get out once again and do some more jobs for some more shady people. I think we got to work with good old Turdy Man right now. What did she just send me? Um, still need those GPS devices. Would be a shame to open that de demolition investigation again, wouldn't it? Okay, great. I'm being blackmailed right now. Okay, so it looks like Turdy Man needs some GPS devices off some boats. I'm your man. Let's go get it done, and hopefully you can stop blackmailing me. That would be great. So, yeah, we're back at the marina for this one. This one's going to be a little bit of a hard one. All right, so our escape vehicle's right here, so I think it's best we probably end off with this boat and drive over here because it's going to be so far away. We have one really fast boat, the speed boat, so that's good. All right, so this boat's just chilling up here. Now, it's just connected directly to the boat, so I wonder if I could... Um, that really didn't work. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This boat actually doesn't drive. I thought it would drive, damn it! Okay, well, at least we know we can pick this up with a vehicle of some sort. Okay, a lot of these I can move. So, yeah, this boat I could move. So, what I think we're gonna do is crash this possibly even into the house. Because I gotta go get the documents from in there. So, I could probably, if I get this boat close enough, plank to inside the house so we save a little bit of time. Okay, it's starting to get knocked too far down. It's actually sinking, so let's let's stop that before it sinks, because I don't know if that's going to uh, make me lose. So yeah, let's keep that out of the water. Now, we still should be able to get pretty much up here. Okay, the box is actually right here, so what if I just... Perfect. Get right in there. Oh, this is going to go well. So we can pick up target, pick up that target. Um, what else do we need to do over here? I think we just got to grab... We can move this, that's the thing. And I can move this. It's going to be a bit of a tight fit, but we should be able to put the boat on the forklift here. And by tight fit, I mean we're going to destroy this thing. There we go. Tis but a scratch. Yeah, that's... Oh. Um. Okay. Well, if it works... Wait, what is it attached to? Crap, is there something else? Oh, you bastard. Okay, well, it's fine. This thing's still here. It's still good. You know what? I'll just drag it over. How about that? This is so much easier. Why, why am I overcomplicating this? Okay, there we go. <laughs> we got our two boats. Um, I wonder if I should plank this just for added speed. So, yeah, basically, I'm going to lift this bridge... Take that boat down there and just crash it over here and then jump off and hopefully everything goes well. Because that's all of them, right? We have the two here. We have the two over there. Oh, yeah. Crap! Okay, so you cannot break the pole. I've tried to blowtorch it. It is stuck on there. So, yeah. That is something we're going to have to come to. Okay, so I think we'll um, drive over to this house. I'm going to open up this wall. We've done this before and basically just crash right into the house. It seems to work quite well. Plus, it's fun to just destroy a house. And then, yeah, we got to go upstairs, grab that one, jump on the giant boat, and take the smaller boat over to the ending. That should hopefully go well. All right, so there we go. We disconnected the trailer, so we're going to use the truck, obviously. I thought I disconnected it. It might just be stuck on here. Get off me! Thank you. All right, a little bit of damage, but this thing still should be fast. We've learned in the past the transport truck is MVP, plus we need to crash into a house, so this seems like a good choice. All right, let's try it, though. See what happens here. Wasted a little bit of time walking over, but we still should, I think, do quite well with this one. I'm feeling pretty good. It all depends on how this crash works, though. Bam, right in. There we go, right to the stairs. Oh, yeah, this is going well so far. Let's not jinx it, though. Grab that. Jump down. I, I moved this over. I didn't mention that, but just to add some or s save some more time. Jump in. There we go. A little bit of lag because of the big uh, ship. Oh, damn. This thing's harder to turn than I thought. Come on. There we go. Okay. We still got so much time. We're good. And come crashing in. There we go. Get out. Get out! Ah, oh, damn it. That royally screwed me up. Okay. Well, that's fine. Steal that. Steal this. And get the hell out of here. We still... I probably could have shaved 
five seconds off that at least. We still had so much time left too. Ah, oh, most missions don't go that well. That feels good. Ah, oh, I got a breaker now, so I get new tools every time I uh, upgrade myself. So pipe bombs, one of my favorites. All right, Turdy man, I just did a job for you. What do you want now? Thanks for taking care of the GPS devices. Just one problem. They seem to be a new, more secure type, and I can't find out their recent locations without the decryption key. Dude, I you you caught me doing one thing, and I've done like three jobs for you. My best bet is that Lee keeps the decryption key in his office safe, but it might also be in the production safe. I have one last favor to ask you. Of course you do. All right, well, let's go do it. Get this over with. Oh, we're going back to Lee Chemicals. Okay, so we only have one primary target with this one, so this one we could just rapidly skip if we want to. I've done a lot of speed running in Lee Chemicals, though, so I know kind of the decent routes. And uh, I will try and at least get a few of these, because the more of these we get, the faster we level up as well. So it makes sense to at least try. All right, hold on here. I doubt this is actually time-based because these are safes. Last time we had a safe one, we didn't have to uh, rush it. So is it just, you know, destroy everything and bring these safes over? Oh, there's new security features, you bastard. Um, of course, these safes are heavy too. So what I think we're gonna have to do is maybe use the dump truck. Okay, so this one's gonna be easy. I got a pickup target right here. I just blew a few shots in the wall here. Um, we're definitely gonna wanna get more ammo soon because using the shotgun is so useful, especially for breaking down brick. Um, so that one is not a safe we have to move. What is this? Another key cabinet, another key cabinet. Okay, so the one I checked was the only safe. So we have two heavy safes we can do in key cabinets. All right, this should be a little easier than what I expected. Okay, so I want to see if I can possibly do something. We have the safe, as you can see, peeking out. <laughs> We're going to plank the safes to the dump truck and just rip them out of there. Hopefully the planks don't fully break. I got another plank or a safe I need to get over here. That should be pretty easy. Oh, that's break. Okay. Oh, what? No! I don't think we're going to need much more shotgun bullets, hopefully. We should be able to kind of slide it out here. Just like that. Now I get that big piece out of here. <laughs> this is so cheap. I love it. Okay. We're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. Now let's just test this. Can I just rip these suckers out? Come on. <laughs> okay. It's going to be hard to deal with, but it works. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Now we just got to grab all the key cards. That should be the easy part. All right, I thought I had uh, shotgun sh shells left, but I guess not. So we just got to use the more dangerous version. Uh-oh. Oh, it fell down. No. How did the hell... How did you fall... Th no! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that worked out. Okay, so now I just grab this one, go through here. If I get this rubble out of the way, I should be able to get through here. Um, run down here, grab this, and then my dump truck is right down through this crack. That should be pretty much everything. And then if I have time, I think I'll try and grab this one. Unless I could somehow combine this. I don't want to run all the way across the map, though. So I think what we'll do is, because I don't know how long it's going to take to get these safes into the boat. I might need to drag them a bit. Uh, I might just build a plank thing over this uh, wall if I have time to grab those. We should if everything goes correctly. So yeah, I just opened up the wall here and it's not far away at all. So I can just simply grab this one if I have time. Um, the question is, will I have time or not? I do not know. All depends on how well that dump truck goes. Let's try it though and see what happens. I'm shaving off so much time by doing it that way. <laughs> oh, dump truck, please work with me because if this works, we're going to get a world record, baby. Come on, pull it. That's not good. Okay, I have now balanced it on the wall. That should give it more of a chance to fall out instead of fall in and rip the um, planks. Come on, safes. I know, I, know, I know you're heavy, but planks are invincible in this game. At least they should be. What the hell? What the? Now, now it works perfectly. Would I test it? Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, I swear to God, if you don't work this time after working perfectly while testing, I'm gonna be so mad. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah! Okay, it's working, it's working, it's working. I was too busy looking at the damn safe. Come on, safe. Just stay on there, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do it from here, though. I'm just gonna crash this thing into the boat and hope for the best. Come on, baby. C 
Come on, baby. Yes! Yes! I have time! <laughs> it worked! Oh, man. I love you, Planks. Sometimes you don't work and sometimes you do, but you sure make this game fun. Ah. Oh. Okay, I did it, guys. <laughs> With 18 seconds to spare. Well, Gordon Wu's back. Looks like we got another job for him. I still don't know how Lee found out about the cars and totally overacted. I just saved the life of those poor cars, and he goes completely mental and vandalizes my property. Can you believe that? I, I do believe it, because I did it. I've thought about ways we can get back at him, and I finally nailed it. The iconic water tower at Lee Chemicals his grandfather built and with his bare hands. It has since become a symbol for the entire Lee family. They even use it in their logo type. Making that tower a little less tall would make a more suitable symbol for the small man he is. Well, I'm a, I'm a master at taking over that tower, so let's do it, and let's get paid to do it. It looks like we got a gift from Gordon. I wonder if we get to keep these. But yeah, we got some bombs. Okay, this this is gonna be easy with bombs. I thought I was gonna have to do with pipe bombs. I've never tried to blow this up with the giant propane tanks. Of course we're gonna try that. I'm just gonna bring these things over here. All right, so that should make quick quick work of this wall at least. How do I want to do this? Um, I guess I'll just shot at it. There we go. Well, there's a lot of the foundation done for me. Damn, it even hit the back wall here with the... I'm assuming this pushed it into that and actually damaged it. That's fantastic. What I'm gonna wanna do is drop off this pipe. There we go, I just saw it fall. Because when we took down this tower, these pipes were considered structural supports. So obviously we don't want that. We don't want any supports on this thing. There we go, come on. It should be off now. Only one way to find out if it's off or not, and that's by getting rid of it. And yes, indeed, that is hanging. Oh, well, that's convenient. That's what I was looking for. I was like, I need more explosives. All aboard the boom train. Jesus, that did not help at all. Oh my God, get out. Whew, that was close. Well, I mean, it did a little bit of damage. Is there any more boom trucks? Because that was really fun. Well, there might not be boom trucks, but there's dump trucks. Let me just get in here and... There we go. Just destroy some more of it. Oh, man. I'm just basically trying to do this without the explosives we were given. Just because I don't want to uh, resort to the easy methods. All right. I found some more heavy machinery. There we go. Yes! Rip it off! Oh, this feels so good. I love it. I love everything about it. Okay. We just got to get this back wall down. Let's see if this thing can hold out and actually do that. You'd think by now these places would be smart enough to, you know, hire security guards. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, I guess they didn't hire security guards. Now we just got to topple this thing over. Get back. Get back. It's falling. <laughs> well, you told me to take off the tip. I took off the whole damn thing. Oh, man. A job well done for me. Oh, my God. The leg, though. Here, have your damn bombs. I didn't need them. Oh, God. Get back. Oh, man, it never gets old. Okay, well, let's go home. A job well done. Okay, let's go see what job I have to do for Lawrence now. This is just, I am such a smart businessman right now. Having these guys <laughs> fighting each other. That escalated quickly. Indeed, it did. Gordon really took this one step too far. You probably heard it on the news. Oh, I heard it on the news, all right. The only way to get him back is to strike where his fat wallet can't protect him. His precious art collection. Some of those paintings would make a nice... Contribution to the restoration fund for my new tower. I wonder if there's actually gonna be a new tower. That's actually cool if there is um, And all he also needs tools. So we have two Lawrence jobs. All right, you know what? Which one's gonna be harder? Both of these are actually quite difficult as you can see fine arts is gonna be really hard Let's let's do marina for now. I absolutely love that these guys are so nervous now They're literally locking up all their tools. I mean, this is a circular saw Jesus Christ You have to have a security system for it. Hey, is he building a new cabin? What the hell? Oh, he is! Okay, does this thing float? This must- Oh, it does float. I just jumped on. You can see the buoyancy. Um, so I should be able to pull this, then. Okay, there's a tool in this. I want to see if I can burn this to lighten the load. Um, oh, that's the wrong thing. I'm trying to not keep the fire too high, though, because the fire alert's going to alert them. So we're just kind of- Slowly burning this away. Can I lift it now? Oh my god, I can move it. Perfect. Okay, so this is working. Good. Because, yeah, we're at the top of the mountain. Um, 
I could move this with a forklift, but I don't know how I'm gonna get a forklift up here. So I figured I may as well lighten the load and maybe just throw it down the hill. Damn it! I mean, I guess I didn't need to burn it. The sledgehammer always works too. This is seriously just a frame. I look though, the um, this piece is attached to the frame, so we do have to move the frame, unfortunately. All right, well that's fine. I'm I'm strong enough to lift it now, so we're just going to. <laughs> oh man, just gonna. Oh, the side's heavier. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's how you heist, baby. All right, there we go, and that's down there now. Now I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but at least I got it on the street, so I can drag it easier. All right, let's just crash this into here. There we go, just get that out of the way. Just sink it, if you will. All right, there we go, now pull this. Ooh, easy now, easy now. This is so cool, I love this. So yeah, our getaway boat's right by the other building, so we're gonna pull this nice and close to that. Okay, there we go, just like that. Magical, so we got that one here now. Okay, I think I got a pretty good route. Now here's the game plan. We start here, jump down, jump in car, go down here. There's a vehicle in here for me to grab, so I'll crash this car somewhere in the water over here, hopefully. Drive this vehicle over into here, hopefully crashing inside. Why is there some stuff on the roof? I don't know. Grab this thing, jump through the wall because I broke the wall here. Jump in the Jeep, drive down, speed down to here where I put the two tools that we need to grab, and then hopefully we have enough time to run down to the docks here, grab this, run around, and get out, and uh, hopefully do that all in 60 seconds. It feels like a lot, but I think this might be a pretty good route, actually. All right, can we do it first try? Only one way to find out, and here we go. I guess I probably should have got rid of this fence because, yeah, this is a slow car, but hopefully they didn't waste too much time. There we go, there we go. Ah, oh, the slow-ass van. I put this here, though, because I'm hoping to break into the building. So yeah, I'm just testing this now to make sure the route's good. It's looking good to me. Even with that major screw up, we might come close. I'm definitely not gonna end this with this crappy run though. There's a few things I wanna change, like getting rid of that fence. Yeah, we, we probably will not make it actually, but it's gonna be close. Actually, I think we would make it. So yeah, we're going to quick load. I'm gonna get rid of that fence. I wanna do this faster, damn it. I don't know why. I mean, all I need to do is just grab these, but I'm, I'm into the whole speed running thing now. All right, seeing how speedy that car is, I decided to trade it for the Jeep because it's gotta go a little further. Plus the Jeep should be able to uh, deal with anything it possibly hits. So let's try this again. It also has the benefit of being higher off the ground so I jump in it faster. So it's a win-win all around. Of course, now we miss everything like a master. It's kind of annoying, but that's okay. Missed that for a second there, but that's okay too. Again, we're gonna be totally fine for time. I'm just trying to beat my time, damn it. There we go. Grab that, jump into my beautiful car. Oh, this is, this is perfect. And look at the speed of this thing. There we go. Oh, no! Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Jesus, maybe I should have grabbed the saw first because now I gotta turn around, but that's fine. I think we shaved off like four or five seconds there, so that's pretty damn good. Only thing I could improve on is maybe moving this over a little bit because now I gotta go around, but that's okay. I mean, it's uh, we definitely could have got an extra five seconds there. Regardless, we got everything. At least I think so. Yes, we did. And uh, yeah, that was really, really fun. All right, guys, but I think that's time for to end off another episode of Teardown. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. I was wondering how the campaign was gonna work with this, and I gotta say, I'm really enjoying its uh, whole style here. Now, hopefully in the next one, we can get to the new map. I was hoping we get to that today, but obviously there's a lot of jobs I have to do before we get there. So yeah, thank you once again for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.